All right, hey everybody. We are doing a test recording with a software I just picked up called uh, Focus C. Um, I might not post this. I might. It just depends on how well it goes, basically. So uh, let's just get into it and we'll see. So I wanted to do a quick little video on the new arrivals because we got a lot of really neat ones. Uh, zero work is obviously gone pretty much now. Uh, a four AI is leaving not sure why they're on new arrivals i guess they just pop back on AppSumo for a little bit one of the big ones is url monitor it's actually a very popular indexing software i believe it was bought out not too long ago but it's reasonably priced get you started for just 59 dollars and really that's probably all you would need for this one uh, for most people it's 500 pages submitted for indexing in google uh, and up to per day and up to five websites and you can switch the websites out you could rotate them if you don't need them all being indexed at all times which most people wouldn't so it's not a big deal uh, next up is pickaxe there are a couple concerns i have with this one uh, although it's a neat idea basically what it does is make a lot of little mini SaaS ai softwares and you can combine them together to make one kind of pretty cool setup but it also offers a back end for subscriptions and stuff like that. So if you don't know how to code, uh, you want something that creates like micro SaaS really quick. I know that's a thing these days. Uh, this is probably a good one to try. It's also only $39. It's got a lot of stuff. It's got some analytics. It's got, you can set up your own dashboard, your own membership website. And I believe that's what they call, uh, yeah, the studios here. So it's pretty neat. It, it's promising. And it's on an AI basis, credits basically. So every time you ask for something to be done, it's going to take a credit. I do not know how much credit it's going to take. I will probably do a review on it here soon. I don't know for sure. It does offer bring your own key for unlimited usage. But the tier one is 39 bucks, super cheap, 250 monthly credits, and you get your bring your own key on tier one. So this seems to be the highlight in my opinion. It does come with three studios or uh, basically uh, a dashboard for customers or clients or whatever you want to do. Uh, I believe that's how it works. Not 100%, haven't used it yet. But the big ones here are the 10% take rate, which is commission. So no matter how much you sell, they're taking 10% cut. This is before credit card fees. This is before your cost for the, the, the product, which will be low because it's micro SaaS essentially. Um, that being said, there are ways to get around that. You can you can embed these onto your own website and and do your own checkout process and your own membership website. So that is an option. Uh, tier two is 120. You get 750 monthly credits and 50 studios. Studios could be embeds, so I could be wrong there. So three may not be feasible for a lot of people if you like to embed things. Uh, I do not know for sure how that works, but that, that, that could be how it works. And if that's the case, you might want to go tier three or tier two, I mean. I to pull it up before I started the video, but uh, Mr. Nathaniel did say in the comments a couple times that the future AI models are not necessarily guaranteed with the, or even with the, oh, uh, the open AI key, which is kind of sucky. That's probably the biggest problem I have with this deal. Uh, besides that, I think it's pretty, pretty all right. The 10% commission is pretty high, but that that's okay. Company needs, needs to make money. Not giving LTDs future models is a huge problem, especially when they're using their own key anyways. So I'm hoping that they change their, their outlook on that one. So let's head back over. You got uh, Alice here. Kind of reminds me of uh, like Straco. So I don't know. I probably won't be testing that one out. Uh, Fable, again, it's basically like a video recorder for software uh, i believe it's step-by-step -step video demos now one i want you guys to avoid is akoya uh AppSumo actually i think they removed some of their their taco ratings because it used to be way lower i mean maybe they just got a bunch of five star reviews uh recently no no <laughs> no no uh, yeah, so watch out for this one. I think AppSumo is playing with the rankings on this. I don't know for sure, uh, but it seems a little shady. 
they've had stuff on their roadmap for three years now and gotten nothing done on it. So if you buy it, just know that you are warned at this point. Uh, Quick, Quick Creator is a AI writer, kind of like a surfer and an AI writer built in. So surfer with the AI writing included. It's pretty neat. I like it. It looks good. I have not tested it, but like visually and it, reading everything about it, I watched the videos. Uh, it does look very appealing to me. If I didn't have 10 plus AI Rider LTDs, I would probably jump on this in a heartbeat. It does look very good. And I do believe they even provide hosting for this. I'm, I'm not positive though. Or what's it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Unlimited hosting and bandwidth. Uh, the only thing is I think it's one website, and I don't know how easy it is to export. I do want to test this one, uh, but looks pretty promising. I, I like it. It looks clean. The dashboard, the UI looks clean, simple. Uh, so tier one, probably not worth getting in the modern world of AI. It's $49. You only get 10 articles, um, and then you get 20 of the scores. Uh, to tier two, you get 30 articles. It is 129, still kind of on the expensive side for an AI writer, uh, that does open up 60 content quality scores. And what I want you to think of these as is, um, uh, kind of like neuron writer scores. So that's what that is. And you do get 60 gigabytes of storage, which is pretty darn good for a website. And next up is tier three. You get 150 articles. This is where it gets all right. As far as usability goes, 150 articles in a month for really anything is pretty good. You do get 300 content quality scores uh, and 200 gigabytes and the bring your own key option. I don't know if that allows more AI articles, but I would assume so. I'm not positive. Uh, but at first glance, I would say tier three is the golden taco deal. Uh, that being said, the next one up is 300 articles. 600 content scores and 500 gigabytes of storage, which is quite a bit. You still get the bring your own key and you now get unlimited team members. So if you're running an agency, this is probably the one. I don't think most people would need that much. I think tier three is perfect for pretty much any size non-agency group. All right, so let's back up. That was Quick Creator. Pretty cool. I like it so far. Data Bar is, I believe, an Airtable alternative. Yeah, alternative to Airtable. It looks pretty cool at first glance. This is definitely something that I like. I, I think AI Tables is probably better by quite a large margin, but this wouldn't be a bad backup option. That being said, it's got terrible reviews. A three out of five is horrible. Now, this could be the simple fact that it is kind of a, a niche product. I don't think most people need these types of things, but some people will need these a lot and will really appreciate it. Uh, the big takeaways on this one are the limited AI keys. I don't like that. You don't really have a limit on AI tables, for example, or air tables. So um, the actions are kind of limited as well. It's kind of low. Tier three is 100K. That's, that's not bad. And then the API network credits, I believe this is API calls and then you have to pay for more. I'm not positive on that though. So you'll need to look into that if this is something that interests you. It is very expensive. Me personally, I would pick AI tables all, all day over this. Frank AI, not hugely. I mean, it doesn't look super cool, <laughs> but it is a, it's basically AI on your phone mobile phone, your Apple. Um, I believe there's free options out there as well. And uh, OpenAI even has a uh, an app already as well, if you're a Plus member. Uh, then you got Salad Transcription. This is actually a pretty generous uh, LTD, I think. So we scroll down here. It's just transcription, nothing crazy. But it's 79 hours for or I'm sorry, $79 for 100 hours of transcription on the single code, which is quite a bit. And then you can go all the way up to 10 codes and get a whopping 2,000 transcription hours. If transcribing is something you do in your everyday business, this is definitely something you want to look into. That is a lot of transcriptions. Untab AI is kind of like, um, think Zen, uh, Zendesk plus uh, GitHub support. 
Uh, it looked pretty cool. I'm not a coder, so I can't really test this properly. And uh, yeah, I, I can kind of fake building softwares with the help of uh, chat GPT like everyone else can. But beyond that, not my gig. But this is this would be great for any developers uh, with small teams. You get tier two here. It gives you 15 users, three repos, uh, which I believe are are basically softwares you have connected to GitHub. I could be completely wrong there. Uh, definitely check on it if this is something that interests you. It seemed pretty interesting to me, and it's not even something I would normally buy. Now, next one up is the PDF editor. This is going to be very niche for a lot of people, but the things I like with this one is you can just scan it with your phone, and it will automatically upload it to your your kind of database backend, which is really cool. It, it just lets you edit pretty much any PDF. Um, again, that's not going to be cool to most people. It is cool to me. Uh, you can also convert PDFs to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, stuff like that. So basically any PDF you get, it really gives you solid control over it. So uh, pretty good reviews, four and a half tacos out of 100 reviews. It's been sold a lot, but uh, that one looked very interesting to me. So there's a lot of good ones in this new arrivals. We're all a pretty good week. Actually, I think it's this is a couple weeks for uh, AppSumo. Oh, I forgot one of the biggest ones here down Cloud Slick or Cloud Stick over here is probably one of the most underrated ones. And obviously, it's got perfect five tacos. It's only four reviews. Uh, I did buy this. Uh, I'll be doing a video on this. Um, I do like this. This is pretty neat. And if you're not familiar with what this does, is it manages servers? For you so you can get really cheap servers um, to this one single dashboard so normally the problem with buying and managing your own servers is you don't have it you have to log into each different place you get your servers from and then log into the back end it it's becomes a big hassle so what this does is it it connects them all for you uh, and you can do it's not just wordpress with this one you can do nextcloud you can do uh, joomla uh, Node.js, and they're adding a whole bunch of other ones as well. You can also do open source uh, software with this, and uh, look at the price. It's just stupid cheap. Plan 1 is pointless. Ignore Plan 1, but Plan 2 is $58. You can connect up to 10 servers, which is pretty much perfect for most people. Then you got Plan 3, which is an unlimited server. You have unlimited servers, and it's $87. Now, to give you a price range of how much this is worth, uh, Unlimited Server Avatar, which is a competitor, probably one of the market leaders, uh, in my opinion, uh, in, in this particular category of software, this is what I have. I have unlimited, uh, I have unlimited Server Avatar, and it cost me nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. So, uh, if that explains a little bit how, of how cheap this actually is. $87 for unlimited servers. If this even halfway is stable, it's it's worth it. Definitely check it out if you host any websites, if you host software of any type or apps, uh, anything like that where it can save you some money. Something as simple as Cloudways, which is kind of like a similar version of this. And it's actually what I used to use for my, my servers. It's going to cost you $14 a month for a little crappy server with one gigabyte of RAM, one core processor, and 25 gigs of storage, and it limits your bandwidth. So that's $14 a month. You could probably find that on the side market for $2 a month. And then the two gig, one core, I have one of these for $250 a month. And they're charging $28. So that's what this does. So you get that $250 or $2.50 server. I actually pay by year on that one. Uh, but you get that server and then you connect it to something like Cloud Stick or Server Avatar. And you're controlling it all from one dashboard just like you would be with with Cloudways. That's exactly how it is with Cloudways. Uh, except you don't pay monthly with this one anymore. So I think that's probably the most underrated one. And then we got Focusy, which is what I am testing right now, actually. So there'll be a different review on this. Maybe. I don't know. I may not actually review it. It depends on how much I like it after this is all done. 
if you see this video, it's most likely turning out pretty well. So we'll see. So what this does is it screen records into stunning videos. It's, zo it's supposed to auto zoom. So like when I circle the thing here, it's probably auto zooming. I don't know because I don't see it on my screen. You can have a camera on over here, but I didn't feel like fixing my hair or shaving my face. So you don't get a camera today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can preset size for social media. This is the export. Um, it's got its own editor or editor. I can't talk today. And uh, yeah, it's it's got some settings on the back end I haven't yet explored. But the prices down here, they were wonky for a few days, like trying to charge like three ninety nine for tier two. I don't know what that was about. And like the tier three was like $1,000. So I don't know what that was about. But I did pick it up uh, back when it was 99 and looks like they did fix it today or yesterday so for one of these you get one device on one computer it is 39 dollars. probably not the best deal most people have multiple computers these days um if that's me in this case i, I got tier two i think it's a little on the expensive side for what it is considering obs is free and uh, yeah, so you get five devices here, four gigabytes of cloud storage, which is pretty cool. So you can host a couple videos on the cloud if you have a team. Uh, and then you got license tier three over here. It's 90, not, 199 gives you 20 devices and six gigabytes of storage. So storage is not a huge amount. That's literally like just a few videos if you, if you do long form videos in 4K. And let me reiterate, the, the main one to avoid here is Akoya. That has been on AppSumo quite a bit. It's very old. Uh, it's been on and off AppSumo for what, like three years now. It's a terrible software. The owners do not update it. Um, yeah, no. Just pass on it or regret it. That's just how it is. Afora is leaving in nine days. Might be worth checking into. Zero work if you need an RPA bot builder. Zero work is pretty solid. The tip for this video, if you liked this or if this helps you at all, uh, Leave a like on the video. That's really all I ask. Say hi in the comments. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.